again, poor idiots, they spending all their time right now, I'm with the, been working at, uh, what is it, uh, reset, or whatever they call it, but anyway, so, like I said, this is, uh, the daily pay, so these idiots spending all their time in, in this, their new operation I see for the last week, uh, trying to show me, I guess, this things that you can't do nothing about, and it's like every time they try to, like I said, with gang stalking, it's just so they had they have stupid people that don't know the rules or the laws. I mean, literally, I guess they thought they was tough or whatever, and they repeat whatever. Oh, da, da, da. Just, just basically stupid motherfuckers. It's like, no, brother. It, but what I'm getting at is they were trying to tell me there was something last night. Uh, oh, there's nothing you can basically like take it. Like you just gotta. Hey, I'm. I literally couldn't believe it. Like, wait a minute. First of all, you're a gang stalker. You know I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh yeah, we're just gonna take it. So yeah, they sent one of the house niggas uh, to try to for some reason to try to convince me. That there was nothing I can do about the situation. I'm like, nigga, you stupid. And he's literally sitting there act, thinking he's smart. Like, no, just, like he's being uh, calm. Don't let them, you know, this and that. I'm like, no, stupid ass. There's a difference between bending over and taking it and whining and complaining when they're not doing what they're supposed to do. That's a, a legitimate complaint. I have to say, I, in my other videos, I've been said it over and over again. All you got to do is know the rules, know the laws. It's nothing they can do, period. Yeah, I don't care if she's black. I don't care how big and fat she is sitting by it. So he thought, they thought I was going to get, you know, talk, start talking shit like I'm going to go up there and do something to the office, the temp service. Like, no, dumbass. That's, 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 that's what you're talking about. There's nothing you can do. And secondly, so that means you're admitting right now. You know that, that there's shit that people are doing. On purpose. I ain't even talking about gang stalking. Just literally not doing a job. And you're just in your life. So during your whole life, you've never been taught to stand up for yourself. And it's like, I can't. There's no wonder you're in the position you are. You know, the, the, the way you live. You know, whatever you was he was complaining about. Having to do this and that. Jump through hoops in his life. There, there's no sympathy for you. You know, you're stupid. And I'm trying to tell you, you sitting here arguing. It is like, okay, well, since you, we're not, like I said, it's not no argument no more. We're just leaving you. There's no more, oh, we're not looking out for your own brother. You know, not literally brothers, you know, skin color, same color people. It's like, y'all, <laughs> for some reason, y'all are purposely button your heads up. Like I said, to stay on, stay on the plantation. Stay slaves. Literally, again, arguing to stay a slave. There's nothing you can do. He finally just had to shut up. I said, "Bro, this is against the law, man. You can't. They can't do you like this. It's called equal opportunity. You know, just all types of workplace laws. And y'all still, they still trying to make it like a, it's a competition or I'm the know it all. It's like you're stupid, bro. That's why y'all, you but you, you ain't got shit now. You know, you just just dumb. You know, that's why you smoking crack. You know, half of them last night came in smelling like crack. I promise you." A homeless threw up and uh, smelling like fucking crack. <laughs> it's like, hey, these motherfuckers, you know, you work with the A's. I mean, it, for me, it's just a waste of time to, you know, do something. And again, this, this, to see the stupidity of the leaders, the, these are the people they choose to send at me. Um. And I said, well, you know, I can just go up there. Secondly, they have a, a 24-hour period to do what they're supposed to do. So, they, see what I'm saying? You just got to arm yourself with the knowledge and, and stop acting like being stupid is, is makes you black. Not knowing the rules or the laws doesn't make you black. makes you a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make you cool. doesn't make you, in the end, Mr. Mister Cool. It, it makes you a fucking idiot, a broke-ass idiot. And then you want to turn around and play victim when somebody points out that you're broke and points out the reason that you're broke. And, and you know, then you want to play victim. My feelings are hurt. 
will stop doing shit on purpose. You know, it, it, so when I, yeah, again, they spent the whole night, right, trying to, uh, I don't know what they were trying to prove, because two different restaurants, one before I went to work, and secondly, at lunchtime, you know, the restaurant right across the street, fast food, you know, they were out of food, and it was like 7.30 at night, right? And he's like, oh, well, so I asked for a refund. I said, well, if you ain't got what I want, just give me up. So the manager has to come up, the white dude, uh, the little black girl had to get her, you know. I said, well, just give me a refund then. She said, uh, oh, hey. so she gets the manager. He says, uh, you don't want, no, I don't. I don't have time to wait. And he said, oh, it's all, it's all good. Yeah, I said, you know, I didn't say I know it's all good, but it's like, yeah, I know. Dude. What are you going to do? You, uh, he he gets into the oh well I I'm short, uh four men or four people, and it's like hey that shows your managerial skills. Pretty soon you gonna they gonna be short of you, you know. It's just like a coach on a sports team. You you know you not you got to get rid of those people that are constantly letting you down. Not showing you got four people don't show up. If this is really you know easy like I said with this gang stalker shit. So if this is your operation to teach me about. I can't do, there's things I can't do nothing. Yes, I can. <laughs> I can make a plaint. You're going to get all these bad marks on your shift. Like I said, then you're going to be gone. There's no sympathy. There's no, oh, why you got that man fired? They ain't going to, you know, I can't get him fired. Just one of, you know, one or two complaints. Because it's, like I said, it'll be just mine. Because it's, I'm pretty sure, you know, they did have it. But since, like I said, then when I got to work, they went to the whole so smeal, spiel or whatever about uh, what are you going to do? It's like, what are you, a fucking idiot? You don't have to do anything. Then he, cause he goes into, oh, somebody's going to go up there and, and do something. I'm like, you know, back again, they, they go into the dumb nigga shit. No, they lying, first of all, because they're too scary. Crackheads. Crackheads don't jump on nobody. Crackheads never... Basically, crackheads get beat up. You know, the... the, the, the with everybody, every, every nigga on the street know about how hard it is to beat a crackhead. Not because they can fight, but because they can take punches. You're going to wear yourself out trying to beat up a crackhead. So, no, dude, you know you're not finna do anything to nobody. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Smoke a rock. But uh, it, it, it just so, so it's like it just stop sending all these crackheads that 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 argue with me. You know I'm not gonna stop going going to work when I want to. I right? and getting this little bit of money for me it's all right. You know it, for me it it's money to blow or whatever. It and so he's like yeah somebody it, it, there are regular people that work there, but I'm pretty sure they get them straight and and like i said each time y'all have these people putting themselves their jobs in danger trying to show me that this is oh you know all these well it's just this and that oh certain situation and it, every time it's a situation that like i said that's that's your fault a regular person on the job who isn't a gangster, the, the situation wouldn't be happening. So basically, it's like you're looking for sympathy for something that's a personal problem. Don't bring your personal problems to work, <laughs> you know. So y'all, y'all just dumb. There's no, there's no room for this stupidity, you know. So it's like, hey, bro, you know, you you four people short. Then you supposed to get that pep talk to the people that did show up. Hey, well, shit. I know this sucks, but shit, we gonna have to, you know, get things. That, you know, instead of uh, your paying customers taking it out on us, you supposed to. Hey, I know this sucks, but you know, Jawan and Tamika and you know Cheryl and whoever the fuck ain't show up. So that that was you supposed to do when shit like that happens. Instead of acting, acting the paying customer. To take a short, she said, no nigga, give me my fucking money back. <laughs> shit, y'all, y'all motherfuckers gone crazy. You know how when you we was younger, people expected good service. And it's like these motherfuckers training y'all to, to accept bullshit for service. I mean, y'all motherfuckers just stupid. I don't get it.
Y'all can keep going around thinking that's being black, and that's what happens with black people do, but people getting tired of that shit. Seriously, there ain't going to be fights. It ain't going to be none of that. Y'all just going to be on somewhere else. I don't know where you're going to be. Your little offsprings, your children. Nobody's feeling sorry for you no more. There's, you know, God is not going to help you. It's, just, it's over with. You purposely, I don't, y'all just, I don't know where all this contention come from. Y'all purposely the, being contentious just wouldn't be me. Couldn't be me. And, you know, guarantee there's something we can do. Yeah, I don't know who lied to you and told you there's nothing you can do. They lied to you, homeboy. <laughs> there's always something you can do. You know, shit. <laughs> you know, and then you're going to be, oh, it was so messed up. They cost me my job. Why you just didn't do your job? You know how simple it is? You know, if you got personal problems, you need to leave them at home. Or take the day off or quit or, or something till you get that personal problem, you know, handled. But you, you can't bring them in to the, to the workplace. Or if, if you got a, your whole workplace going to be gone, you know, laid off, fired, because all of y'all bringing your personal problems in and people stop coming or y'all can't get the orders out if it's not customer service related. And y'all, you know, just ain't getting the orders out or whatever you're supposed to be doing or, you know, people just going to go elsewhere. So you got to fix your personal problems at home after work. But anyway, so like I said, it's, it's, we'll see whenever I go decide to go back. Are they still going to be on this uh Purposely not doing their jobs, and, and you know, like I said, it's typical Democrats. What we, we, we've been going through for the last forty something years in black cities, motherfuckers, literally, purposely, you know, being contentious, but it's over with. And like I said, unless y'all all finna be crackheads, y'all hey, smoke your smoke to your content, smoke your brains out, do you, do your thing.